Hello everyone, and this is a Steven Universe Theory video on Andy's future or role within the story of Steven Universe. Now, why I chose this theory is because, well, you know, Andy's new, might as well get to talk about him and all this stuff, and, and why I say, like, you know, his future and role within the story, and you might be thinking, well, how do you know he's going to be in the story for all that long? What if he's just, like, that one character that's just there and then he's gone, you know, kind of like with Bismuth. Well, the thing is, is, well, because, um, one thing for sure is he didn't fly off in his plane and leave. So it wasn't kind of a Bismuth thing. Not like one episode, that was it. Then we just got to wait till who knows how long. Why well, I say he's also a uh, permanent reoccurring character or just a reoccurring character is because the pattern is that I've noticed when it comes to characters that the Crooniverse show and will have in the story permanently at least is that they don't reveal them through commercials or trailers or previews anything like that at least like when the preview or trailer is uh, I, I don't know within like two weeks but when it's within a week or within a few days then yeah they might get revealed kind of like with Sapphire or with Andy if I'm right because he kind of got revealed a few days with uh, one of the commercials for Gem Harvest. But with Lapis, Peridot, Jasper was hinted at but not really revealed. So I guess if you want to count Jasper as well, and even a bit of Ruby and Sapphire, those five characters, they weren't really talked about or hinted through um, previews or episodes. Well, I wouldn't say like episodes, because of course they were kind of like hinted, especially Ruby and Sapphire and Jasper. But, you know what I mean, through, like, previews and all that type of stuff, they weren't really revealed until the episode was actually shown. And the same trend pretty much follows with Andy. And he's going to be staying for a bit, and I think it would be fun to talk about what his character would be and what his role is going to be within the story. Because, of course, he doesn't have all these special type of powers or anything like a gem or special combat like Connie or even a bit of Steven. But he is human like Greg, and he's pretty much the closest thing, besides um, Steven, of course, that Greg still has. At least that, like, he can talk to now, because he's his cousin, so might as well. When it comes to the future, or just role for Andy, or just the type of episodes that he's going to be in, it's just going to be, at least for the starting episodes, it's kind of going to be the same thing with Peridot. I wouldn't say to that extreme, where she just got to know everyone individually like Peridot and Pearl, Amethyst and Peridot, and then uh what was it, Garnet and Peridot, and then a couple of episodes of uh Steven and Peridot splattered here and there and then I guess the same thing with a bit of lapis, but not too much. It was just mostly with Steven and then a couple of other things. With Andy, I could see his episodes being pretty much basically as he's just gonna learn more about the gems He's going to learn more, like, fusion stuff, their powers. So he's going to learn about Ruby and Sapphire, and then the powers that they probably have. And then, especially the biggest thing would be the homeworld war that Earth had with them. You know, Earth was in danger, and we protected it, and we're still here now. But in ways, the Earth is still in danger from them. Other episodes would include of just Andy and Greg talking, because... What was it? Uh, Greg said that he hasn't really seen Andy within two decades, so 20 years at least. And Andy also explained that you just went to your van and then just drove off. And that was pretty much it. So we're probably going to get some back-to-back -back stories of what's a what was Andy's life for the 20 years and then what was Greg's life during the 20 years. So that also probably explains why the next episode is Three Gems and a Baby, if I'm right. So if I'm you know, pretty much correct, which I'm pretty sure I am, uh, that's a, uh, one of those flashback episodes with Greg and all of them, or it should be, or at least, like, with young Greg, and he's also going to be learning about Rose and all the things that she did, how she was a leader for this, uh, rebellion against Homeworld and everything that she did to protect it, and maybe learn a bit more about the Pink Diamond incident, which I know everyone's talking about of many theories like oh she didn't do it or pink diamonds line or pearl shattered her at the end or things like that i mean i could probably talk about it but there's a variety of like theories and discussions that go into that like one subject he'll also get to learn about rose's quote-unquote death and 
how Stephen was born, and then just Stephen himself, of how he's half gem, half human, being the first one of that type of thing, and then just everything about Stephen, you know, all the stories and adventures that he has, like, oh, I can summon a shield, I can float, I can, I have healing spin, I create this bubble, and he'll also probably uh, show off Lion if he's around, and how he can, you know, jump around and warp to places and all that type of things, and he'll probably also meet up with Connie and talk about their adventures together and things like that. And Andy will also learn about Beach City, if he already hasn't, or like, if Beach City's changed all that much. You know, if he has been there a couple of times, he'll probably say things like, oh, that store used to be that, or that used to be there, and this mayor used to run the town, and all that. Things used to be really different, and family used to come by, and all that stuff. So, yeah, it'd be pretty fun to have Andy tell stories about how he's been around the world, and all the things that he's most likely collected and all that stuff and the gems will actually probably warp him around place to place like the the galaxy warp or other places i really can't think of at the same time or um what was it the, the mountains where the goat is and all that you see on screen you know what i'm talking about in other places if there's anything else to andy's character that they'll that they'll probably develop is you know him probably just getting used to all the magical things, the gems, Steven himself, and then just everything else, I suppose, because that's just usually how it works when it comes to the human characters. They're just either weirded out by the magic stuff and just kind of ignore it, or they just eventually get used to it. I'm guessing that's probably like the same way that Vidalia dealt with it, because she, hang, she hung around with the gems a lot, especially Amethyst, and Amethyst didn't really mind what she did, she shapeshifted and did all these magical things, and Vidalia probably just most likely got used to that. I would love to see a Vidalia and Amethyst episode again. If it came to, like, real plot progression, I suppose, besides of just character development, which they're probably going to focus more on with him, I suppose, maybe. I I'm not too sure specifically. If it came to, like, plot, you know, how he would probably deal with the, the homeworld gems or just, uh, monsters on earth so some of those um i'm guessing you know he would just fly them around on his plane or whatever or you know him pearl paradox and make like this super plane that everyone could fly in and they don't need to like always need to search for a warp tour or try and find line and fit everyone in there they just have the plane ready and then just fly off forever like if homeworld invades with like a bunch of those hand ships they can have the plane that they built, or multiple planes as well, I suppose, with, like, their signature stuff on it, like, colors or whatever, kind of like Power Rangers, I suppose, and then, you know, they deal with Homeworld, but I'm thinking a little too far-fetched and far into the future of things that probably won't happen, but if they do, that'd be pretty cool. Another thing that I did think of when it came to, like, possibilities or things like this, if we're going to be talking about far-fetched things, what if Andy is Tiger, I cannot pronounce this word for the life of me, but you, you know what it is. I will stutter beyond belief, and I kind of don't want to embarrass myself. But yeah, what if he's, uh, what if he's that Tiger instead of, like, Steven or someone else? What if he's that? Because I don't think we've gotten any word of what that episode's really about. So, I can imagine him being that, you know, playing along with the wrestling thing, or what if he did wrestle? within like his old days i i could see it happening and if it had, if it does come true i was the guy who said it all right just let that be known i was the guy who predicted that he would be that so yeah that's everything else that i have to say for andy's future role character and the episodes that it will be in or what the episodes will be like if he's in them uh so yeah let me know what you think in the comments below have any questions comments or concerns or any other discussion topics you want me to talk about, uh, leave them all in the comments. I'll have a little comment that says, leave discussion ideas here, or we'll reply to that. Want to draw any fan out for the channel? Be greatly appreciated. My email will be in the description below, so you can send me some. Tell me about it, so I have a heads up before you send me it. And thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day, great night. Uh, everything else you know what to do. Bye. <laughs>